Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Crazy D's Equipment. On this very cloudy spring day out here at the lot. So look at what I got here, guys. A uh, Farmall M. Do you remember in the end of the uh, Project Row video how I told you we had an, had an M that came in and it was stuck? Well, the boys were able to get it in the shop and get her on stuck and get her up and going and running again. And here she is. So, I, I these old farm malls hold a really special place in my heart. I was about six years old when my uh, my granddad put me on our farm mall H and sent me out to the field. I had this little pull type disc back behind it, and I just went around and around and around and around and around and around forever that day out in the field on these things. But I have spent a lot of time on these and then they do hold us definitely a special place um, the farm all tractors they got their they got their start in 1923 with the farm all regular and it was a really huge breakthrough at the time because the tractors back then most of them were great big old plow horses or you would have what they called the uh, the motor collivators where there was an engine out front and then they hooked the equipment on the back like the horse-drawn equipment was at the time so when Farmall came out with these and put the uh, row crop style front end on here, it gave you the ability to be able to plow or to cultivate or to do about any form of, of farm work that you needed to do. You know, and then after the, after the regular, you had the the F series came out, and the F series of, of the F30, the F20, the F. F12 and the F14 and at, at, at that point in time in the 30s I think and the 40s and the 50s and even into the 60s International was selling more tractors than anybody else they were the John Deere of that day like you know right now every farm has a uh, has a John Deere on it or at least every big farm anymore has a John Deere on it back there and that day and time, every single farm has a, had a farm all. There was one of one of many, probably an H, because there were so many H's and so many F20s made. Again, just crazy production numbers on those. But that farm all series, it survived all the way up to '76 when when International finally dropped the farm all name, and that was the end of the farm all. Um, you know, and then really international started to decline about that point in time. They had uh, some bad management, some really bad management. And by 85, they were in deep trouble between the bad management and uh, the 1980s farm depression here in the United States. Really put a strangle on, on, on international and... And that really became the end of such a great legacy of tractors. I, I know there's a lot of guys out there that are hardcore IH International Harvester fans, and I don't blame them. They're good tractors. They really are. Um, I grew up on them. They are really good tractors, and I don't blame those guys for being hardcore fans. And International built quite a bit of high-quality machinery, um, even into the, getting into combines. You know, they were the one that came out with the rotary with the rotary combine and stuff and for years and years and years beat everybody else out there so you know and 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 these farm all and especially these early 40s models farm malls the h's the m's etc etc really do mean a lot to me and I've, I've spent a lot of time on them so here recently on our channel we've had a huge huge explosion of, of subscribers and i just want to say thank you to every single one of you that have uh, we're so grateful to have you here. We, we, we appreciate you guys coming in. Um, we're looking forward to hearing comments from you and, and we're looking forward to, to, to doing more and more of these videos for you guys and to please keep liking and, and tell your friends and tell your family and tell whoever you know. Just stop strangers on the street and tell them about us. We, we'd highly appreciate that. So thank you guys for coming in.
So guys, I want to share a story with you about young me and driving a farm all. So when I was about six years old, my, we had a, a farm all just like this one, like I was telling you about earlier. And Grandpa had me put the trailer on the back and said, hey, take this thing three miles down the road so we can fill it up, fill the trailer up with firewood, and et cetera, et cetera. So, you know, like a six-year-old boy, I hopped up on that seat and got out on the road and put it in road gear and pulled that throttle all the way up and pudding down the road. Now, like I said, the first two miles, that's a cakewalk, nice and straight. Then I got to the point where I needed to turn, and I didn't bother to throttle down or anything, and I took that turn at full tilt i ended up going going down one ditch up through the neighbor's fence out the other side come down through the ditch up across the road through the fence across the road back down through the ditch and then i got it up on the road and you know i tootled on down the road like nothing happened i didn't tell dad i didn't tell grandpa we got loaded i got back to the farm and about a day later or so grandpa come up to me and asked me he said, hey, do you know anything about the neighbor's fence? And I was like, nope, don't know a thing. No, nothing. Nip, zip, zero, don't know a thing. And uh, Grandpa said that. Grandpa was like, well, you know, that's funny because the neighbor happened to see someone that looked an awful lot like you on a tractor that looked an awful lot like ours kind of go through our fence. Well, I knew at that point I was screwed. I, I, I spilled the beans. I got scolded, but I got scolded with from grandpa and the whole time he had a smirk on his face so it wasn't as bad as it could have been but i i did i did get my little butt scolded for that one but uh you know this one of the reasons why these old farm malls hold such a such a uh, special place to my heart you know i grew up on these i you know i i enjoy i enjoy them you know one other really quick story as i you know it was a farm mall h that I learned why you do ever start a tractor in gear. I did the old run up and jump on the draw bar and lean across the seat. Did not realize that the tractor was in gear. Hit the starter button. She fired right off. Tractor took off. I was standing on the draw bar. Hit a mud hole. And that tricycle front end turned. And when it did, that steering wheel come a spinning around. And there was one of those steering balls on the knobs on the steering wheel and it just come across my face <laughs> and had a big old knot on the side of my head and i learned that day you always check the tractor to make sure it's out of gear before you start and i have never started a tractor since with it being in gear that's the first thing i check that's my farm all stories and then that's that's the stories i wanted to share with you guys so in the down in the comments guys do me a favor tell me what was your first tractor what was the first tractor you learned how to drive on what was what tractors hold a special place in your heart tell me you know give me the, that information i would love to hear it you know if you guys have any suggestions about other videos that we could do or things that you'd like to learn about or stuff you want to know about the lot or such please please throw that down in the, in the comments um i'm really looking forward to see what you guys as uh, first tractors were or what you learned to drive on and but overall guys thank you for coming in thank you for subscribing to the videos uh thank you for everything um and i'll catch you guys around the corner